Hello and welcome to another system design video and in this video we'll be looking at consistent hashing. So in various videos I have mentioned using a hash function when distributing load or data. With database distribution the simplest way would be to hash your partition key then use the modulus operator against the number of database servers the data is distributed on which will give you the server you want to store that particular data to. The problem with this is if you add or remove a database server, the partition key mapping strategy will break down, as the same partition key will now be mapped to another database server. So a majority of the data in your distributed database would need to be redistributed, which is very inefficient. A similar thing would happen if you use the hash mod strategy to distribute requests over multiple application servers, as the caching system would require maintenance. A better solution would be to use consistent hashing. Using consistent hashing would mean only kn of the data would require redistributing where k is the number of partition keys or request IPs and n is the number of nodes or servers. The way consistent hashing works is similar to a typical hash function. It takes in a key and maps it to an integer. Now the output of this hash function is set to always be between a range, for example from 0 to 255 inclusive. We can now represent this range on a diagram as a closed ring. Now let's say we have 5 requests with different IP addresses. We pass each IP through a hash function and distribute them on the ring depending on what the output was. Now we also need the servers to handle the request. With consistent hashing we also hash the server IPs with the same hash function to determine where they sit on this ring. So let's add three servers A, B and C. So how do the requests get allocated to the servers? The request simply checks clockwise until it finds a server to handle the request. Now if we add another server D using the hash function again, then only a fraction of the request will change which server handles that request, as only the requests that check clockwise and find server D first are affected. And the same happens if we remove a server, as only the requests handled by the dropped server are distributed to the next server in the ring. Now if we only have three servers in the ring, we may quickly see problems when load balancing, because requests can be unevenly distributed and one server may end up handling majority of the requests. We could handle this by adding hundreds of servers, but this would be very expensive and silly. Instead we can make each server have multiple virtual IPs and spread them around the ring which makes it less likely to have an unbalanced distribution. And that's all for my simple explanation of consistent hashing. As always if the video helped hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next system design video.